Sewing machine tension can make or break your projects. Welcome to The Sewing Report, I'm Jen and this channel is all about making sewing and crafts fun and approachable. We've been doing a Learn to Sew series around here focusing on the basics. I'll be demonstrating on the Brother CS7000i. While the specific settings used differs from machine to machine, I'll be showing you how to adjust tension through testing out your stitches. So you should be able to apply this knowledge on whatever sewing machine you have. First, I want to show you this literal page out of the Brother Manual. Correct tension is important, as too much or too little tension will weaken your seams or cause puckers on your fabric. The straight stitch, also known as the lock stitch, is comprised of two threads that intertwine or lock at each point where the needle punctures the fabric. Here's how to tell if upper tension is too tight. Loops will appear on the top of the fabric, the upper thread will not sink into the stitches, and the bobbin thread will wrap around to form the loops. To fix this, you will want to reduce the tension dial to a lower number. When upper tension is too loose, the top of the stitching will appear to be okay. But on the bottom, the bobbin thread will run straight across, with the upper thread forming loops around it. To fix this, you will need to increase tension by turning the upper tension dial to a higher number. When you're sewing, you want your stitches to be good quality. And the best way to get that is by testing out fabric samples that match what you'll actually be sewing. I often use leftover scraps of the same fabric, use the same number of layers, and include batting or interfacing if there is any. Let's look at this in real scenarios. In order to clearly see the contrast, upper thread is pink and bobbin thread is purple. Here's what it looks like to sew two layers of fabric with the tension set at 9, the highest possible setting. For each example, you'll see a close-up shot of the presser foot and a picture-in-picture -picture wider view of the sewing machine. The tension is so high that the fabric is puckering at every stitch. At 9, you can see the bobbin thread wrapping around the upper thread on top. From here, let's decrease the tension to 3.5. No more puckering under the presser foot. While the bobbin thread still peeks out, it's not as prominent as before. Doing a complete 180, we'll see what the tension looks like set at zero. The top of the sample looks all right, but flip it over and the upper thread is visible on the bottom. So tension needs to be increased. I turned it up to 3.25. Definitely less pink thread visible on the bottom now. Tension settings also need to be adjusted depending on how many layers of fabric are under the presser foot, types of fabric, and especially while quilting. You can see the stitching in different types of projects. This is five layers of quilting cotton, and this is a three-layer quilt sandwich. For each situation, I do need to tweak the tension settings and find the right one to make the best stitches. The stitch should be locking right in the middle of the fabric layers. Additionally, be sure your bobbin case and surrounding area are clean. And try re-threading the upper part of the machine if you're having issues with achieving quality stitches. You also might try changing out the needle to a fresh one. For anyone new to sewing, be sure to check out the rest of my Learn to Sew series for more basic tutorials. If this video helped you, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to The Sewing Report, and hit the notification bell. I'm Jen with The Sewing Report, see you again in the next episode, and remember, whatever you're doing, make it fun!